video, but that's just to get my point across. I'm gonna say it's in the middle a lot, and you'll find out what is. I'm not hill climbing today. I'm on the road. I'm going back to dual sport, baby. that mistake before gloves like this are real good for keeping you warm on the street terrible for dripping off road what the hell? that being said I just came 30 miles on the road up to here on this bike it's a 2018 ATM 500 EXCF. This is literally my first impressions of it because this is the, the those 30 miles on the road are the only miles I put on it so far. Oh my god. Alright, this is the first time I've took this bike off road. You're looking at it right now. My goal is to try to give you like a uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Like a real world review on this bike. I feel I'm the most qualified to give you a real world review of this. Because I'm a perfect balance. In my opinion, I'm pushing 40 years old. So that puts me in an age range right around some of you. Older than some of you, but not too old. And then younger, obviously, than some of you, but not too young. I'm 39. I've been riding since I was five. You would say, wow, you must be a professional. No, not by any means. I am a feel like I'm a good rider, solid woods rider. I've raced, I've done okay. I wouldn't compete ever in anything above B class. And I'd probably get smoked in B, because I get smoked in C. On that same line though, I'm also not a beginner. I'm not the slowest guy, not the fastest guy. But I am pretty much right in the middle uh, of a dirt rider, off-road racer, dual sporter, and I have a lot to compare from, or to, from and to. <laughs> oh boy, I'm liking this so far. Let's, we may as well put it to a little, you've seen me go up this if you watch my other videos. Kind of sucks, but It'll tell me, you know. to what's done to this particular bike because it is used in a little bit first I want to tell you like I just said I have a lot to compare this to right now and a lot of bikes in the past if you haven't watched me let's run through those well some of those I actually started out dual sporting at 15 uh, wasn't even old enough to ride on the road but I had a bike that was legal on the road so in Pennsylvania here there isn't big expanses of woods all over the state you gotta hit some pavement anyway 
So after my mini bikes, I basically started in dual sporting. I wasn't one of those guys that got into it when they watched a YouTuber or, you know, never rode and had a midlife crisis and bought a dirt bike. I've always been on street legal bikes. I've always had reliable, good bikes, but nothing performance until I got older. So at 15, I had an 80s XT250. I also had several of those more recently, early 30s. I've had the 2013 X250, XT250. Had a first gen KLR, second gen KLR. I've had a weirdo, I've had a 95 KLX 650R converted to street legal. Had two DRZs, one was actually a KLX 400. Had a Honda XR250L, just this to name a few. The only thing I haven't owned is Aust Austrian stuff. Never had a Husky, never had a KTM. This is my first KTM. And so far, I'm like, what the hell have I been doing not having a bike like this? If you go on the performance spectrum in my 30s, currently have a YZ250 from 01, steel frame, a 23KX450. They are both now extended, so, but even still, this feels as good off-road as they do. And it's street legal. It's not KLR heavy, and it's not race bike light, but... There's a lot of common sense things I'm gonna try to leave out of this video. You can watch a million videos, they'll beat you to death. Oh, KLR is heavy. Oh, uh, EXCF 250F is light for a dual sport. I, I, I assume if you're watching this, you already know that kind of stuff. So let me cut straight to it. Like, I am 16 to 50, 35 miles in on this bike. And only the past like four of them being dirt. I'm quickly falling in love with this thing. It's handling great got the right amount of power it's real close to my foot my stock 450 this bike isn't exactly stock in that department again the second half I'll go over what's done to this particular model but it's not like stroker kit big four stuff it's bolt on add on stuff all of it oh that kicked hard I'm sure you didn't see it on the GoPro, but my ass end is cocked like 45 degrees and hooked up again. A little sketchy. Most guys don't even do, they would call this what, improved gravel roads. Like look here, up, flooded beaver dams. <laughs> but, um, and some guys, Again, not to beat a dead horse. If they want to do single track. This isn't the bike for it. But in this hour I've had on this bike so far, I'd say this is a way better do-it-all bike than say a KLR or a DRZ, hands down. It has the sixth gear. Again, if you're watching this, you probably know that. But this bike is geared down. I've been in third and fourth gear, maybe second a little in the woods here. I'm not even in the woods, if you know what I'm saying, though. And I still ran on the two track here, not the highway, but the paved state route. 60 mile an hour, no problem. Okay, I hope the wind isn't too much. Again, 2018. 
KTM 500 EXCF. Fat tire in the front, rad guards, pull straps, Duro engineering hand guards. This is tucked different than stock. Um, the dual sport, best dual sports tuner, which I guess found out that all of those best dual sport bikes dot com tuner which i found out they're all dobex they're all ej ejk's basically that's on here i mean there's some you could use your eyes and see what's going on also i don't know if it's resprung but it's set up for a guy he said it's sprung but i don't know uh 215 pound rider i forget if that's yeah those are new springs i'm pretty sure that being said you pay for these bikes but i bought this one used I want to thank Tom that owned this. There's meticulous maintenance records on this. I mean, not down to every nut and bolt and torque, but everything he did. You can see there's still stickers here when the suspension was serviced. He wrote down like Titan chain. I mean, he, I could put a picture up of it here. Wrote everything down. And that is very important. It's one of the selling points of this bike for me is even if, he missed some stuff or he <laughs> i don't think he made any of it up hopefully he didn't but yeah you've seen this bike before i just think this is probably i'm going to say it right now before i keep riding the best all-around dual sport for me right in the middle in age and skill and time to ride and the kind of riding yeah i like tight single track but yeah i run on the highway yeah i like uh, two track but yeah i like gravel roads too i really hope that wind isn't horrible hopefully that makes it better if it was jacked up i'm not going to beat to death things like oh you can't haul as much luggage because the subframe stops here look that up in other videos i'm sure if you got to this video you've seen other ones first so you already know a lot I just want to say I am, I'm five, oh, by the way, I'm 5'8". I'm about 205. He said this is sprung for 215. Um, and his, you know, skill, I don't know who sprung it again. John will be hitting me up saying, it was this and that. And th oh, by the way, I also did this and that. I'm not putting everything in, Tom. I'm just giving the roundabout on why a guy that's 40, that rode his whole life, or maybe didn't ride his whole life, and a guy that's maybe 60 would want this bike, maybe a guy that's 20. I mean, it is, I hate to say this, it's right in the middle of everything. It's, and it's good at everything. It's not like the KLR, it's like, well, it can go off-road, but it's better on the highway than the DR650, so on and so forth. No, this went on the highway just fine, especially with the six gear. It's got dirt tires on it. I didn't mind. Now, I grew up on dirt tires. That's another thing if you haven't watched me. I rode knobbies on the roads for the past 20 years, legal and not legal ones. So I don't feel, I compensate for that, I think, in my riding style. You know, a lot of people will be like, wow, these are way sketchier on the road. Like, no shit, but also get used to it. Like, I just, you, that's in your, I'm not going to pile this into a corner like a sport bike. It's not made to do that. Okay, I think that should cover you guys seeing what the bike is and what I continue to talk about and what I have talked about so far. I'm going to continue on here. I'm a little lower on fuel than I thought, but we're going to check out the fuel mileage today, see what I get maybe on the road. So uh, let's see here. I am a shorter rider. A lot of times I side hack on the bikes like this, like I'm not on it. You gotta be careful if you have one that doesn't run right or something. Flame out, you fall over on top of it. That would suck. All right, I gotta try to be a little ginger though because we're down in here and I think this has a gas light, but maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it's not on yet, I don't know. Yeah, I shouldn't have to go too far to get fuel now. So I check out all this old mining equipment. Actually, look, he's dumping coal in right there. Well, the sun was peeking through here just a couple minutes ago. Look at this area. It's in other videos of mine, but 
So I'm 76 miles in on my total day. I think about 38 since I got fuel. I did only stop once. I was gonna stop twice and like get a range of my mileage, but I'm only to here. I think I'm gonna stay on this mountain. I go down, hit 120, do a loop around, come back and head towards home. So probably 180, 200 miles today. Uh, it's cold. It's actually supposed to snow tonight. It's about 40 right now. So I put my balaclava, bal black, black, baklava dessert back on my head and uh, I'm gonna continue on. I really don't know how much else I'll have to say about how much I love this bike. I guess longevity I'm not taking into, you know, into the equation here just yet, but 80 miles, a lot of road today. I mean, my ass isn't sore. It's not as comfortable as my Goldwing, but I don't think any dirt bike is. Me personally, anytime I sit this long, my ass would be numb. So it's not like it's because it's a dual sport. I always like to show this cemetery up here. It's pretty creepy. I know it just seems like an old cemetery, but we're like, I don't know, 10-ish miles in the dirt. And I mean, can you imagine seeing that at night? It's like circa 1820, good gravy. on the pegs I will say this bike feels way more at home on stuff like this than it does on the highway but that's common sense but oh man I'm, I'm really liking this bike like I said so far probably I don't want to go as far to say it's now oh, I might even say this is my favorite bike ever so far like I could do away with so many other things if I just had this bike. Well, I don't know about that, I don't know. Oh, hot. There used to be a school right here. It's kind of sad because you figure it's like an 1800s school, I reckon. See, it says school, what's that say? Schoolhouse Lane. And I think a couple years ago it burned down. Oh, here, look. There's the foundation. We've got Jesus nails in it. That's what I call square nails. That's uh, probably a right name. But I feel like it looked like it's been here since, 18, you know, sometime in the 1800s. I don't know who would have went to school up here. Oh, this is muddy. But, and in my time it, it coming here it burned down so that's kind of sad hopefully it was an accident funny enough if you go back through my videos I'm actually riding the 2015 one of these that belongs to my dad and nice friend and I go to the same spot up here and I leaned it against that tree in that video but I'm gonna go right down here I think I'll be okay okay so like I sort of mentioned who knows if I edited it out I'm good at that I'm gonna stay on this mountainside today and then head home. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna end up on that highway you see down there as a car going. Zoom it in. Ride down that, cross the bridge by the Wyckoff, start heading back towards home. Probably actually come back on here like I'll go up Jerry or something. Yeah. Yeah, possibly my favorite bike ever. Very possible. Do I have to work on it maybe or something? It's about, what was it, 2.30 when I checked, so it's probably pushing three. I need to 
get a move on. I, I am about 80 at this point, 80, 85 miles away from my house. So, a little dink. What's the point of this? All right, let's see if I can. Wonder if I need to put it in neutral. What does that look like duck shit? Got turned around. Another call back. You go back in my videos just a couple ago. It's like exploring, not a couple, but a year, less than a year ago. I think it's called like exploring other camps or checking out other camps. I'm gonna try to zoom into it. That camp right there. You can see a video of what that looks like. Uh, it's hard to get to. I forget what they call it. Last camp, lookout camp, something like that. But you can't really go there yourself. We kind of got caught going back there and the guy said, yeah, whatever, go ahead. But we didn't disturb anything and you can check out that video. The only thing I sort of noticed too is like this break is in. I don't know if it got beat in or if that's how ATMs are. Twice I went for it and like kind of missed it. While the state of Pennsylvania continues to kind of shut down more and more land, even for street legal bikes and off-roading, I feel like you can get away with more, at least hit more areas with a dual support. I got away from them for a little bit, but they are very practical. They just don't have the off-road performance that a dirt bike does, unless you get something like this. They're on this mountain, came down, rode the highway on that side of the river the river again now we're back in state forest land and headed towards home sort of not yet really but jerry run the road jerry runs up here uh, named after jerry Gaines, an escaped slave settled in this area an ex-slave of some sort i'm pretty sure escaped though i'll have to get with my old boss their camp is on Gaines Trail, which is like a hollow or two over. And he met a guy that, that like wrote a book on the history of the Gaines brothers, I think. But yeah, this is Jerry, Jerry Gaines Run or Jerry Run. As far as the bike goes, I'm 60 miles on this tank of fuel. If I get to the sand rock up here and I'm still like at 70, I shouldn't have a problem making it back to Kyler Town. Uh, I don't really have another option, but we'll see where my fuel's at when we stop. Maybe the only thing I need is a larger tank. But how this feels between my knees right now, I hope a larger tank doesn't get in the way of that. Because I think this actually feels better than my Kawasaki does as far as like how it feels underneath you. And obviously in this video, I'm speaking for, what is it, 16 to 20 or 16 to 19 um, EXCs. I'm sure that the, supposedly they approved them, but maybe they choked them out more, but I don't know that. I'm just saying, for me, real life honest opinion, 
middle of the road rider. This is my favorite bike. I, I think this is my new favorite bike. I'm right in the middle of the road on everything. This bike's right in the middle of the road. And it's like good at a lot of things. With the six gear, you know, I would say, yeah, if this was a five speed, you would have like no road capabilities. But honestly, with six gears, even with this gear down, it's cruising 60 for me, like no, no problem. This will probably be one of my last stops that we'll talk about the bike, but let me get my stuff straight here. Jerry Run, uh, trees of the lower Jerry Run, escaped the blade of a crosscut saw, the Department of Conservation, Lower Jerry National Area's treasured forest of old tree growth. So like that road down there, I think this is middle might be upper they got they got what i know and what see this just says jerry run trail i think that's what we call middle jerry anyhow 500 new favorite bike i am 106 miles in on a dual sport three and a half hours ish of ride time it's uh great so like i said i got about not quite 100 to go back about 80. so i want to get back to kyler town get fuel and ride home thanks a lot for watching this video if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that i'm always on a different bike not always but I stick to certain things like there's camp and I always come up here to go to camp. There'll always be a camp video once or twice a year. Been hill climbing a lot. I'm still going to hill climb. Got two, two hill climb bikes in this right now. Some street bikes. Might even be a gold wing video or two. Never know. Anyway, thanks again for watching.